Hello everyone and welcome to today's Teams in 20 session. It's going to be all about Microsoft Shift. So as you know, today uh, our sessions uh, are 20 minute lunch and learn sessions, so very quick. So thank you for joining us today. And if you haven't been here, welcome. And without further ado, I'll present our speaker for today, Joe Johnston, who's going to be going over Microsoft Shifts. Thank you, Zane. So today's session, we are going to be covering uh, what is Shifts? how to set shifts up, and I'm going to take you through a demo. So hopefully the, the demo gods are, are on my side today. Um, but let's just start off with uh, what is shift. So shifts is a feature in Microsoft Teams uh, that's being created primarily to support frontline workers uh, with the ability to see the working schedule, especially as those frontline workers don't tend to have access to Outlook. Uh, but we also see it being used in many other areas as well uh, as frontline workers. Anywhere you've basically got a paper-based rotor, um, uh, this is definitely a great solution. So with uh, Shift, you can do things like import schedules from Excel. You can create your own uh, schedule directly in the tool. Or for a more advanced uh, setup, you can also connect your workforce management solution up. So if you've got a solution like Kronos UKG or Blue Yonder or recent Re Reflexus, um, you, you've got the ability to connect those up as well. You can do things like create um, an open an open shift so anybody can pick that shift you can swap shifts and request time off uh, and in future you know we're looking at how shifts connects up to the to the wider 365 solution so lots more come in in this space my slides move along uh, to help colleagues, especially those in the front line, we've created that element of self-service as well. And that works really well on mobile. Um, it really helps colleagues see the individual schedule, but also the team schedule. And they can do that setting up their availability and, and swap and offer shifts to other colleagues, as well as, as pick up those extra shifts that I, I mentioned. And behind this is a, a, just a really simple uh, approval process. It just saves a, a lot of time for managers. You know, we see a lot uh, you know, in our travels around customers where people are asking to swap shifts in, in various chat channels and pinning up um, paper-based rotors. So this, this saves a whole lot of um, time for those guys as well. There's also a time clock feature uh, that enables clocking in and out of a shift on a mobile device. And there's even a, a, a location detector to ensure that um, team members are, you know, I'm not clocking in from my bed. I'm actually in the in the shop if I'm in the retail uh, industry. And uh, yeah, so that but all these things are um, something that you would you would decide you want. So they're not all by default. There's also uh, tracking sheets there. So you can download and find out about times people clocked in and out, they took the breaks, and just find out what everybody's doing with their time. And I, I mentioned uh, workforce management uh, connectors. So we've got a, a few already here, uh, but we're having um, discussions with multiple more partners. You know, it's really useful to have that connector in play to help keep those schedules synced uh, with with shifts, um, you know, keep the schedule synced, but also more importantly, probably the payroll. You know, so if you've got that real time sync there, then then that's absolutely fantastic. OK, so I am now going to take you through a demo. So let me just uh, come out of these and let me take you into my demo site. So um, some things that are really important to uh, to call out really here is the fact that your schedule is connected to your to a team so you will uh, you can have multiple schedules you can have a schedule for every team that you have so i've got two teams already created here retail two and retail three and if i click the three dots here i can click on shifts and if i don't want that to go away i can pin that now in my list of schedules I've only got a schedule created for my uh, retail team too. And, and this is what, what it looks like. And I'm going to go through this in, in detail. But actually, I want to create a new uh, shift or schedule for my retail team three. 
Now, what's really important to, to understand here is if I go to manage the team here, you'll see I've got owners and, and guests. Um, the owners are the ones that can create that shift schedule. They're the ones that can make the edits. They get to see the full view. The members will only see their view. They'll only see their schedule in, in that chart. So let's go and create a new shift schedule for Retail 3 team. If I click on my three lines at the top there, I can click new schedule. It will give me the list of all the teams that I've got. And I've got a team called Retail 3. So I'm going to create that. And I automatically get this uh, view. So if I navigate you around this view a little bit, um, we've got three tabs across the top and this is the schedule view. So I stay here for the minute. I can do things like clock in and clock out, um, take a break. I can copy the schedule and I've got three dots here. It's going to help me look at exporting and, imp and, and importing schedules. We'll look at that in a bit more detail. But then I've got the whole view line. So what weeks do I want to look at? Um, do I want to look at a day a month? Do I want to print? Do I want to filter? Because if you can imagine you're in a store and you've got 600 people in your team, this could get quite big. You might have multiple groups here. And you see I've got the ability to add a group. Um, so I, I've got a typical calendar view here, but the added bonus of being able to calculate the number of hours being used in those days. And then I've got my, my group. Now, at the moment, it's on names. So I'm just going to call it, uh, I don't know, food group. Save that. And I can have multiple of these. So I might have different teams with different schedules. It's automatically added me in here. But you see, I've got a line here of open shifts. Now, I want to add more people into this. So it's going to show me the people that are in my team. So I've got Miriam. I've got Diego. And I've got Alan. So I'm going to add those in. You can see that Diego's an owner, so he's going to see the same view as I can. But Alan and Miriam will just see uh, the view of their own rotors. I'm going to put some uh, times in here. So if I click in a box for the 19th, I can start adding a shift. And I can do a few things here. I can add an activity. Maybe there's a stock take going on that day, and I think... It should take till 10 o'clock to do. I might add some notes for the shift. Um, but you'll see here, it's automatically put eight or five. Now I can go in and change that to, to whatever I want, give it a custom label, custom color, all of that good stuff. But I'm just gonna leave it as it is. I, I might do that shift five days a week. I don't want to have to redo that every time. Um, so I've just copied and pasted that shift. Now, if I go into Miriam, maybe Miriam, um, she works, let's say, 12 till 9. And I'm going to give her a purple colour. I'm going to save that. I can just copy and paste that shift across there. Um, and then I'm going to do the same here. Diego and actually Alan works the same as me. Um, now I've got my shift how I want. You'll see there's like little stars here. That means that they haven't been published. I might have created this, but I'm published for anybody. Now I've got a bit of a gap here. I've got a I've got a shift that um, I, somebody else could cover. So I'm going to say actually. There's an extra shift, though, if anybody wants to pick it up. And there's an extra shift here if anybody wants to pick it up and another one here. So I've got some open shifts that I'm allowing people to, to select themselves. Now, this is just for this week. So I want to copy this schedule and I might want to copy it for the next three weeks. And I can say, actually, don't copy things like the activities because that's going to change. Don't copy time off. And don't copy the open shifts because that might be different. In fact, actually, I'm going to leave that on for now. Um, maybe I don't want the shift notes either to be copied. Um, so I'm going to press copy on that. And that is going to copy that schedule um, over the next few weeks. You see, they've also got stars on because they've not been published to anybody. 
So I'm now going to share that with the team. And I click that and say, when, what do you want to share? I want to share maybe all three weeks. So I'm going to copy all of those and I'm going to share it with the entire team. So I will click that. And that's now gone to the entire team. You'll see there's day notes as well here. So I missed this line out. Um, audit, I don't know, promo. These are all notes that are going to go out to the team to say, you know, if there's anything that I wanted to share with them. OK, um, now I can, as I said, there, do export and import. I can view the shared uh, schedule. I can recall it if I've got an issue. There's a few other things I want to show you. So if I go to the request tab, I can put in a new request. I can request some time off and I could pick a reason why I want that time off. You know, is it all day? Is it a certain bit of the time? And I can send that request. I can ask to swap a shift. So maybe I've got a shift coming up on Thursday. It's that shift. Um, and I want to see who's available. So maybe Miriam could do that shift for me. So I'm going to ask there and I can put that request in. And, and then the managers or the owners of this uh, team can go in and they can um, accept that request or, or deny it. Uh, so if I go back to new request though again the last one was offer maybe I want to offer up a shift uh, to a colleague so I want to offer up that shift and maybe I've spoken to Alan and I said Alan do you want to take my shift as an extra shift um, I'm just going over to the settings so this is where I'm going to make sure I define uh, what my week looks like so maybe the start of the week starts on Monday and not on a Sunday uh, do I want to automatically copy those shift activities I want, might want to put in different types of requests and you think you can do like up to about 50 different, well, I think there's more than that. I tried 50 and I could add more uh, different types. And then I can also do this uh, time clock setup. And if I wanted, so, so people could clock in and out, but also if I wanted to turn on um, location detection for mobile, I, I could do that as well. So really pretty simple. Um, I think, you know, the, my my recommendation would be to just go and have a look. You won't break anything. Have a have a play about with that. Um, you if you do get put anything in that conflicts, you'll get a little warning notice to say you can't put this shift in at this time because this person's already on shift somewhere else. So um, or the timers don't work. So you, you can do a lot of things in there. You can also do things like, oh, well, you know, Miriam's asked for time off. It will automatically appear or I can manually put that in. OK, so let me just make sure I've shown you everything I want to there. Just give you a little view. If I go back now and look, you see, I've got schedule for retail too as well. And I've got Alex's scheduler. Alex is a member of this team. He's not an owner. So if I go and have a quick look at what this looks like to Alex and when he clicks shifts, he only sees the open shifts, shifts view and he only sees his rotor for the day. So just give you a view of what that looks like. Now, what I want to do now is really go back and show you what this looks like for um, mobile. Now, I've cheated a little bit here to keep us on time. Hopefully you'd be able to hear this, but I've done a little demo of what this looks like from a, a mobile experience. So saying do let me know if you can't hear this um, as we go through. So I'm logged into Alex's profile on my phone and I'm on the team screen so I can see my retail to team there. If I click on the three dots here and open the tray. I can select the shift app from that tray. This is going to give me a another menu. So at the top here, I've got the shift that's coming up for me today. I can click on that. Any notes or activities that have been shared for me about this shift will be visible. Um, this is not till later on, so maybe I need to see if I can swap the shift because uh, I maybe I'm not feeling very well. I can offer that shift up to another team member that's available. I can also click the little square box up the top here and it'll show me who else is on shift for today. If I go back now to that main screen, I'm going to start at the top here. So 
all your shifts. I can see all the shifts that are currently in the schedule for me. I can go to open shifts. I click on that one there on the six vapor. I can request maybe that shift and that's now gone off to my manager. I can click on requests. I can see all the requests that I've already asked uh, or submitted. Um, maybe I want to swap a shift. So I'm going to say my shift on the 30th. Let's see who else is, is on the, maybe I want to swap that shift with Lee and I'm going to put that request in. And I can go back and cancel those requests at any time. Now, if it was time for my shift to, to uh, start, I could press the start shift, but actually it knows that I'm not currently on the clock yet. So it's, it's highlighting that to me. And then just to the bottom here, I've got this your team section. I've got your shifts, which we saw earlier, and then I've got the team shifts. So I can click through this to see um, who's going to be on shift on those days at this, when, when I'm due to be on there as well. You can also see that I can chat with people on the shift. So I click see more. I could start a new chat with those people that are due to be on shift today. So let's go back to that shift section there. Um, if I click the plus button at the top, you can see I've also got options here to set my availability. Uh, swap shift, off shift and request time off. I can also just do from that top button there. That was a quick run through. I know that was really quick. I think one of the screens went really fast, but hopefully if you look back on the YouTube, you'll be able to uh, see that in a bit more detail. Um, just to uh, point you at uh, some of the resources, and we'll pop this uh, link into the, uh, into the chat there. Um, I'm going to leave this on screen, but I know there's some questions. So let me just ha have a, a quick scoot through the questions. Um, so Sarah asked, uh, Sarah, sorry, can this be used for people just using tracking their own time? Yeah, definitely. Lots of people do do that. So if you want to create your own flexi time sheet, um, you could do because then you can export that time out as well and show that with whoever you wanted to. Why does the week default start on Sunday? Um, hopefully, Alice, you, uh, you'll have seen that you can actually you, you can change that. So if that's not your the week, the day you start the week, um, just scroll through the rest of those. Having my weekly dance, the music. I, I, I do that regularly, Catherine. Um, please show and take a look at the YouTube channel. Good idea, Lee. I think that is all the questions. Anybody else who's got a question, do post it in the chat. Um, we will share this, as Zane said, on the YouTube, um, on in your communities. I'm even posting it on LinkedIn now. And, and our next session, which is absolutely awesome, is on the 29th. And it's about protecting your time with Viva Insights. I think, Zane, are you doing that one? No, we'll I'm see. not. We have a special guest next oh, week. Oh, <laughs> wow. Right. OK, brilliant. So. Thank you so much for joining and uh, please do fill out the survey as well. We do appreciate that feedback. Hope you have a lovely rest of the day. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.